Hey everybody, this is Jonathan Brusco and we are back with some Scratch Junior tutorials. In this one, we're gonna talk about how to inlay photos into your backgrounds and into your sprites. So let's begin, I'm gonna start a new project. So first one is gonna be photo background. Uh, apologies in advance that we are gonna be doing some photos inside my house because that's where I am right now. So let's say you want to make a background a photograph. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is go up to the top and select a background. And then you're gonna select a blank background and hit your paintbrush. Okay, now all you need to do, uh, assuming that your camera is turned on, you'll know that your camera is turned on with permissions if you see a camera icon here, is literally touch that camera icon and then you touch the background. And that's it, and that brings up your camera, and that's me, I'm gonna switch it. It look horrible right now. And maybe you wanted my fireplace or something like that. Okay. What's going on in Netflix today? All right, so, and you just take the picture, and there you go, you got a fireplace background. Okay, so um, you can do this with individual smaller shapes as well. Create your own shapes and then touch inside the shape, and then create a background. So we're good with the fireplace. Um, and now we're gonna do a um, custom icon or a sprite. So let's say for this one, we're gonna to touch on the, add a new sprite over here on the left. And then we are gonna to touch on the blank character. And then we're gonna to touch on our paintbrush. Um, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna to need to draw a shape for this, uh, for this character. So um, I'm gonna take a picture of a coffee mug so what I'm gonna do is I am going to go up here and use this tool and I'm gonna to touch and I am going to just draw and it doesn't really matter the thickness of the line. Uh, I'm gonna draw a rough sort of shape of my coffee mug, just something that will encase it. And I gotta make sure that I cross these two lines here to make it a complete shape, okay? Actually, the closer those are together, the better. And I'll explain later. So let's see, and there we go, okay. Now I go and hit my camera icon, and then I touch in the middle of it. And then we'll switch to this camera. We're gonna take a picture of uh, this Disney coffee mug. My wife would kill me if I ever broke this. All right, and then we're gonna take a picture. Okay, now here's um, the cool part. So obviously this isn't a very pretty uh, icon uh, we're using for our Sprite. So what we're gonna do actually now is we're gonna touch on the edge of the line here that goes around it, anywhere on that edge. And what will happen is it brings up all these little dots. So now what we can do is we can start dragging these in um, so that we can start cutting out our mug. And it's not, oh, I don't wanna do that. It's not gonna be perfect, um, but it will be pretty good. And you can make them disappear by tapping them, but I usually try to keep as many as possible because it gives you more to work with. Um, and you're not gonna always be able to get it like 100% perfect, um, but we're gonna try. And in this case, we're not gonna be able to get the inside of the coffee mug. We might be able to cheat and do it like in white, but we're not gonna be able to get the inside of it. All right, so the handle, I mean. I'm gonna keep going here, there, there, okay. Uh, tea bag, am I gonna keep that there and, or are we gonna erase it? Let's erase it. Pretend it's coffee, not tea. Okay, there we go. And it's pretty good, okay? Um, so once you're done, you're just gonna hit the check mark up here. And so let's see, and there we go. So now we got our coffee mug as our Sprite and we can set that right there. So that's how you create um, photos of backgrounds. A question that I commonly get is, how do I create a background of a photo like from someplace else, not just from a camera? Like you can import a photo as you might do on another device. There's no way to do that, but there is a way to cheat and do that. So what you could do is you can actually bring up the photo you want on another device and take a picture of the screen on that other device. Um, that's kind of a cheating way to get around it. Otherwise, you gotta use your actual camera. So um, you can do all sorts of projects with your own photos. So Example of one that I did today that the kids thought was hilarious. Um, so here's me and um, our lovey dove, which is one of our Komochi social emotional learning characters. 
Um, and when you tap on Lovey Dove, it tries to poop on me. Here it comes. Oh, it missed me. Again. Oh, it got me. All right. So anyways, all sorts of interesting things. And obviously, that's a background of our campus. So I hope you enjoyed. That's using photos in Scratch Jr.